Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Sunday, fun day. Happy day three at the Northeast Council Convention in Rocky Hill, Connecticut. It is a brisk 21 degrees, 720 in the morning, and I'm going to get breakfast. The vendor room today opens at 8 a.m. Uh, the auction is today. You know how I love a local fish club auction. Unfortunately, I have to be in the vendor room. Yesterday's sales were eh. Uh, total sales so far will cover all my expenses um, and I'll probably just about break even I'm assuming I'm gonna sell some stuff today because a lot of people said oh I love your fish they look so great blah 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 I'm here all weekend I'll see you on Sunday okay see me on Sunday buy some fish and I'll be happy uh, I've only sold three shirts okay so we'll see how many shirts we sell and i'll probably offer up what i have left on the website um so we'll see how that goes uh hopefully early in the afternoon maybe two three o'clock i can start breaking down and cleaning up and uh getting out of here and getting home imagine it's going to be probably close to a four hour drive home uh and i'm not looking forward to it because i'm a little tired Anywho, I'm going to go get some breakfast, some breakfast, and uh, I'm going to probably talk to some uh, some more vendors today. Don't forget the contest that we uh, started yesterday with Super Cichlids. They were so generous to offer up you guys a $50 gift card and a free plush stuffed animal. Um, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, but be a subscriber like the video and subscribe to super cichlids on facebook and then next week on friday i will pick a winner using a random winner drawing machine it's an app and uh then i'll announce the winner and then you could spend 50 dollars at super cichlids for you international subscribers i am not sure how that works i am not sure if they ship internationally i will have to check with lisa and martin super nice people really just nice people anywho uh let me get something to eat so i don't get cranky and uh, i'll check in a little while good morning fishy folks i'm here with jason from san francisco bay brand say hi jason hi good morning so uh what do you got going on here at your fancy table uh, today we're here at the NEC on their uh, third day of the uh, conference and we're just uh, handing out some samples, uh, talking to people about our products, but it's a good place for us to come and just meet with the different clubs and those that we give donations to every year and, uh, and just meet them face to face and uh, see what we can do to help out with their clubs. Excellent. Anything new on the fish food horizon for you? Right now on the freshwater side, we don't have any new products. Um, you know, the newest stuff we had done was update the, uh, the flake formulations with some non-artificial uh, preservatives and with uh, colorants that are also all natural. And we've, uh, you know, increased the quantities of certain ingredients while being able to decrease those that are less digestible for the fish. So basically all good for the fish. Right, and for a cleaner aquarium. Fantastic. We do have some other stuff in the works, which we should hopefully be revealing over the next year. Sounds exciting and secretive, since you're not telling us what it is. Dry food. <laughs> Dry food. Yay. Anything else you want to tell my viewers, subscribers? Ah, no, I mean, you know, we've also got the San Francisco uh, brine shrimp products, which yep. are a popular thing here because you have a lot of people who are uh, breeding aquarium fish in the clubs and use a hobby or as a hobby business sort of a thing. And uh, so there's always interest in brine shrimp at this sort of a show. Fantastic. Well, thanks for your time. Really appreciate it. All right. Thank you. All right, fishy folks. I'm here with Zach from the World Pet Association. Say hi, Zach. Hey there, how's it going? So, uh, what is the World Pet Association? I'm just gonna call it WPA for short because I'm not that smart. That works. Uh, the World Pet Association is a not-for-profit association that is all based on promoting the pet industry. So, anything big that you've 
that you present that we would know as aquatic people? So uh, WPA, we, we run four different shows to help promote the industry. Um, however, my specialty is aquatics, and we throw the aquatic experience show that has been in Chicago for the past five years. But this year, we're moving to the Meadowlands Exposition Center in Secaucus, New Jersey for the first time, and we're very excited about the change. So what you're saying is you're going to be right in my backyard in October. We will be right there October 19th to 21st, and we're excited to see all the YouTube fans and all the fish fans from around the Northeast come to the show and check it out. Why did you move from Chicago to New Jersey, besides New Jersey being badass? Uh, well, I was told that, that New Jersey, New York is a lot better than Chicago. I'm not sure if the people in Chicago would agree with that, but we'll have to see uh, if, if we get a, a higher quality of uh, hobbyists or not. I challenge everyone to come out and uh, prove to us that New Jersey is the place where we should be so we can uh, stay there for a while. Fantastic. Anything else you want to say? I just say uh, come out to the show. We've got a lot of really cool stuff going on. We've got a shrimp competition, an aquascaping competition, a cichlid competition. We've got entertainment to bring the kids and the families out there, kids aquarium competitions, lots of aquarium displays, and then all the extra vendors. So it should be the largest attend or highest attended aquatic trade show, consumer show in the country with also lots of great education going on. Sounds spectacular. Thanks for your time, buddy. Hey, thank you. All right, fishy folks, the auction is starting to heat up. It's a little bit after nine. A lot of people dropping off their, their stuff. People getting their seats. It's like a big tank up for auction up there to start. So unfortunately, I probably won't be here very much. Although I might be. If it's slow by my vendor table, I might come and watch and hang out. So that's what the auction looks like. A lot of the usual suspects here that I see at many auctions. A couple of new faces, but that's expected. Let's take a look and see what they got over here. Lots of goods. Big Amazon sword. That's nice. Green Wild Type Sword Trio. I know him. I really need to stop looking. I really don't want to buy. Can't see. No, 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 something blue in the water. Can't think of it. Hawaiian Varias Platy. Pineapple Platy? Varias? Don't know. All right, folks. Steel Nebula Guppies. They look like red cobras to me. Maybe it's just because they're in the bag. Oh, two pair on fry, extra fancy. <laughs> extra fancy. I wonder what the regular fancies look like. That's a, they're nice looking mutts. But they're mutts. Oh. This is Ben. Ben brought some guppies for the auction. They're a little snake. They're fancies. Some of them are the but, fun set. But are they extra fancy? Like not these? as fancy as yours. No, no, these are extra fancy. Oh, the ex ooh. Extra fancy. Yeah, these are just fries, so they got some growing to do. Yeah. But, yeah. All right. Looking good. That was Ben. Ben's been here all weekend walking around. Tiger barbs. Fish bags. Keith, I know Keith, we're friends on Facebook. <sighs> what else, folks? Some cultures, these are all the donations, samples, whatever. All right, guys, that's it for the auction for me for now, I think. Unless there's something over here fun and exciting I want to look at.
Nope. Look, it's Kaylee from Bucks. Say hi. Hello. She's the president. Oh, you are? She's right. awesome. That's you know about a video, right? Not a live video. Okay. You'll be able to see it later. Nice. Excellent. Anything you want to say about Bucks? First, first three months. It's awesome. It is. She's right. <laughs> My favorite option. All right, fishy folks. That's it for now. Talk to you later. So one thing I didn't talk about was the silent auction and the way it works is there's no barker, there's no auctioneer. It's just, you know, long arm red claw shrimp and, you know, they tell you retail value and bid increment and then people start bidding. Whatever they want is their highest. That's what they put. So these things are pretty cool. I mean, I'm not, I don't really know much about them, but pretty cool. So I do have some bids in for some uh, some plecos, some pretty rare plecos. So we'll see how it goes. You'll know if I win because they'll be up for sale. Um, and I think all the money raises, yeah, all the proceeds raise money for the James White Memorial Conservation Fund. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing to raise money. So uh, we did pretty good business this morning. I'm almost out of the jade heads. I did sell a couple more of the Jarulo Zuli. So. Yep, I think I'm gonna try to go uh, try to go take a look at the auction for a little while and then start cleaning it because it's it's getting dead in here. Although there's a lot of people in here, um, there just isn't a lot going on though, really. Although Greg Jones from my aquarium box bought a few oxalotls in to sell at the auction, just a couple. Bags of oxalotls. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. So, I don't know anything about them. They're breathing through the They're Talking to people. We're not going to bother him. All right, guys. I'll be back. Tenware. Tell him you didn't beat it, Mike. $10 bear. Auction has started. Tenware. All right. I got 10. Who's doing 11? I got 10 looking for 11. 10 looking for 11. I got $10 looking for 11. I got a ten dollars looking for You bidding, sir? Are you bidding? Uh, get your card up. Ten looking for eleven. Like you, you got your card up. Right, keep your card down. I got ten looking for eleven. Ten dollars looking for eleven. Sold ten dollars. Like what do you got? Three, one, three. Uh, All right. He's got six of them. We need them. Okay. That's good. Not bad. Three, two, zero, dash one. Two beautiful, proven breeder, breeder koi angels. Look at those fish. All right, who's gonna give me at least a thirty dollar opening bid? I got thirty. I got thirty five. I got forty. Who's doing forty five? I got fifty. Who's doing fifty five? I got fifty five. I got sixty. Sixty five. I got seventy. I got seventy five. I got eighty. I got eighty five. Who's got ninety? I got ninety five. Okay, who's gonna do a hundred? I got a hundred. One hundred in the back. I got 105, 110, it's just all right, 150, I got 120, all right, I got 120, I got 125, all right, who's going to do 130, I got 125, look at my 130, 125, look at my 130, sold, sorry, sold, 125, 125, best fish here, oh, what do you need, RD, hold it, 346, RD the man, 50-50. A nice bag of Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. Give me $10 bid. $10 worth. I got 10. Who's doing 11? I got 10 All right, fishy folks. Folk. That's it for me for today. I'm going to be uh, cleaning up. And packing up soon and two, heading seven, home so i hope you guys enjoyed five german blue rams and uh five german blue rams competition. Competition. 20 22 24